Um, oh, man. Um, so this is my first time at Western States. And so I, you know, I, I've seen plenty of uh, documentaries on the race. And uh, you know, I've, I've studied the course map. Um, actually, I'm going to pull up the Western States course map right now. They, oh, that's, that's, that's smart. Very smart. Uh, all right, cool. Well, you have a good day, and um, we'll, uh, we'll see you, see you uh, in California. All right. Yeah, thank you. Bye. All right, everyone, in case you haven't heard, yes, last night I hit click, bought the ticket, Denver to Reno, Reno to Squaw Valley. We're going to Western States 100 to film. Oh, my goodness, it's going to be epic. So that was James on the phone. James is a vlog fan from California. He's run uh, Western States, I think, twice, and then he volunteered. He's going to volunteer this year. He spectates. So thank you, James, for reaching out and offering. Basically, he was giving me some insights and tips and tricks on how to drive around the course, where to drive, what you know, roads to take, because I've never been there before. So this is going to be absolutely epic. I'm actually planning out right now all the videos I want to publish, not, not just the daily vlog, which we will, uh, we will do. Um, of course, we're going to have to find internet out in the woods, uh, out in, the, out in the, the wilderness of California. But in addition to the daily vlog, I've got so many other ideas. For example, I want to film a middle of the pack or back of the pack video for everybody else that's running, like not just the leaders, but there's so many great stories to be told throughout the entire race, not just at the front. So anyway, it's going to be epic. Thank you again, James. All right, back to planning. Here we go. <laughs> And a quick shout out before we dive into the bone healing system, the Hoka Cliftons that arrived today from Alaska. I think these are the first shoes to arrive from Alaska. Shout out to Wyatt who is in the Army. He says this, hey Seth, I'm stationed up here in Alaska with the Army and you have really inspired me to get into running more than what we have for physical training through the Army. Having 22 hours of sunlight, that's amazing, during the summer makes it fun running at any time I want to. I picked up these Cliftons about two months ago. He's put 20 to 30 miles into them. He's getting a few uh, blisters in them. So he decided to pick up the Beacons from New Balance and that's why they, the Cliftons arrived in the New Balance box uh, and he loves the beacons. Uh, I guess he watched the review of the beacons and picked those up. So anyway, Wyatt, thank you so much for passing on some joy to somebody else. These will be for the next running shoe giveaway, which will be happening in July, which really is just around the corner. So that's exciting. Okay, let's dive in to bone injuries with runners and the Exogen Ultrasound Bone Healing System that arrived today. 
Oh, where to begin? All right, let me just say up front right now, whenever we're talking about health-related topics here on this daily running vlog, I always say that I am not a doctor, far from it. So whatever, whatever I'm about to say, go confirm with your doctor, talk to them about your injury, whatever your injury might be. If it's a bone injury, who knows? Maybe you can bring up this exogen machine with them and they can share some insights with you. In fact, if you do, let us know in the comments like what your doctor says. And in addition, you actually need a prescription from a doctor to get this machine. So remember, two days ago, I said this. And so anyway, that is why you saw me in the boot today. I'm just being extra cautious. I don't want to mess with it and I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, I, I am not going backward. We're going to knock this thing out. That's right. I am ready. So ready to knock out. And yes, keyword for this vlog is knockout because I'm so ready to just knock out this bone injury once and for all. Okay. What is the Exogen Bone Healing System? All right, here you go. I'm just reading from their website. The Exogen Bone Healing System uses safe, painless, low intensity ultrasound waves. And I'll just say right now that session I just did out on the patio was 20 minutes. Um, so it's a 20 minute session to amplify. It, it uses ultrasound waves to amplify your body's natural bone repair process. Uh, it's supposed to heal 38% faster uh, for indicated uh, fractures through level one. And this is proven through level one clinical studies. And it goes on to say the last step of the bone healing process is called bone remodeling, which my podiatrist talked to me about a couple weeks ago. And I'm not saying this right, but the exogenous accelerates both the normal formation and recycling of bone tissue for a faster formation of the mineralized callus. Um, which is, I think, the second and third step. Anyway, there's like a soft callus that forms and then a, a harder callus that forms around a fracture. Uh, the mineralized callus is the outer layer of bone tissue that normally forms like a scar tissue at the ends of a broken bone once it has healed. Now, I'm not going to share any more of the science. Again, exogen.com. And I, okay, their website appears to me to be very well cited. So a lot of scientific research backs up. So it's like, you know, it's it seems like, oh my goodness, is this a little bit of a gimmick? I don't think it is. And that's just, you know, that's my opinion. You can go do your own research if you're interested in this machine, if you're suffering from a bone injury. Uh, again, a lot of cited sources on their website that lead you to all these different clinical research studies uh, for the past like 15 years that I found. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, why is Seth bringing up this topic again right now? I thought he was healed. He was back to jogging again. And we'll get back to that in one second. But first of all, I went to see you, had a lot of stress fractures when I ran for the cross country and track team. And so I was prescribed the Exogen Bone, the Ultrasound Bone Healing System while I was a student at CU. Um, and that was 10 years ago. And frankly, ah, oh, it's killing me. I forgot about this thing. And this, this little machine you saw me using a minute ago. And I wish I would have remembered it eight weeks ago when this pain popped up in my foot. But I forgot, and you live and learn, but I'm leaving no stone unturned now. So right now, <laughs> my foot is like a one or a two on the pain scale. It's like so minuscule. But again, I refuse, and I said this a couple days ago, I refuse to go backward with this injury. So no stone unturned. I now have this machine in order to, again, knock it out and just make sure we are 100% healed up as quick as possible uh, because like, I, wa I wanna film for you. I wanna run more for you. I wanna race more. I wanna be able to create beautiful running videos and uh, I don't wanna mess around with this thing returning, this injury returning. Now, can I prove to you 100% that the Exogen Bone Healing System works? I can't. You know, I got to trust the doctors. If you have a doctor, you got to trust your doctor because they're the experts. Uh, but I'm willing to listen to the doctors, read the research on their website. And I, I will just say, though, I always returned from my bone injuries in college using this exact same machine ahead of schedule. And a bone injury never returned after coming back from like starting up the jogging after a stress fracture. So there is, you know, and I had a lot of stress fractures. So there is some evidence that it did work, um, at least like, experiential evidence that I didn't go backward after using this machine. You know what I mean? And that is 
my goal. So again, keyword is knockout because we're going to knock out this bone injury 100% no matter what. All right. And question of the day. And I'm not putting this uh, little machine in the strange category, but it's maybe a little unique, a little outside the box for um, bone injuries and healing from a running injury that is bone related. So here it is. Whether you've dealt with plantar fasciitis, IT band, a uh, pulled groin, a uh, pulled hamstring, whatever the injury might be, what is a, a remedy or something within the healing process that you have used that might be a little outside the box, a little unique? Keeping in mind, everyone, there's uh, probably, there are doctors that watch this vlog, but I, like, most of us are not doctors, okay? So read everything down below with a, uh, with a grain of salt, but who knows? Maybe you're dealing with PF and there's a stretch that somebody mentions down below and you're like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that stretch. That, could, that might work. Let me try it gently, going cautiously, talking to the, the medical professionals. Um, but anyway, that's why we're here together on YouTube, helping each other out, get back to running. And who knows, maybe your doctor will say, oh my gosh, absolutely. I, I've prescribed the Exogen Ultrasound Bone Healing System to runners in the past. Let's give it a shot. Um, yeah. Sound good? Oh, thank you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited to leave no stone unturned. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Let's do this. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Thank you, Wyatt.